morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I haven't even made up my bed yet, but that's fine. But it is officially now the day before my scheduled surgery. So, just wanted to give you guys a little update. Um, today, um, they, you know, pretty much they've been calling me for, since this week started just to advise me on things of what to, you know, what not to do. Um, and they've been really, really good. I'm really amazing. Um, yesterday I went and, like I said, draw blood, um, do an EKG. Um, and while I was there at my job, you know, doing that, um, the lady that was there, she was telling me what, you know, uh, the procedure she wants to get done. And I was telling her who my doctor was. So he is highly, I must say this, highly well known in this, um, in the city. He does, um, a lot of reconstructive surgery, um, you know, facial reconstructive surgery. Uh, one of his favorite things that he, um, he, you know, he likes to do facelift because I did ask him that. So here go. She also said the same thing, that um, when he practiced in the hospital, um, before he, you know, started with uh, going over to where he's at now, he used to actually do face uh, reconstructive surgery for free. And, um, you know, because he just wanted to give people, but you know, back their beauty, um, you know, so he always did that for free. And, you know, that's pretty much how he was. He was a person that likes to give back. So I am so happy that any person or physician or nurse that I come across and they always ask me who he is and I let them know, he is very much highly recommended. So um, I'm great that I actually researched him and found him, you know, so I know I'm in great hands, like they said, great hands with all states. So yeah, um, thank God for my my health insurance oh my god amazing I have two bags of prescriptions two bag of prescriptions that I had to get filled I'm gonna stuff them that are in here Whew. yeah especially one pack is scary uh, it's like four syringes filled with uh, yeah some yeah so um, I've been up late, which in, you guys know I'm a late sleeper, just kind of getting the house together, uh, prepping it, you know, and just doing some regular chores around the house because of course I'll be down for about two weeks. So usually, you know, about two weeks in, I usually get my house chores done. So my bathrooms have to wash my mats and I'll mop my floors, put my showers clean. But I want to show you guys some things that I actually bought that so far that I've gotten prepped for this. So I went to Dollar General. I was in mannequin's head. I got some uh, female wipes because I can't uh, clean myself. I mean, I can't take a shower. Oh my God, I can't clean myself. Then I got some of these um, Terry washcloths because what I'm going to do is, you know, got a little, you know, this little container. I got this little container. Let me put that there. So I'm going to use this to wash off my, you know, my female parts and then dispose of these. So use one and just, you know, dispose of it. Um, also, I went and got me a shower seat. Um, before I leave tomorrow, I'm going to put that into my shower. I also went and got me a toilet seat riser because, um, you know how our toilets are, you know, you scoot all the way down, you have to, you know, bend, and you can feel when you, you know, with your stomach. So, I went and got that. I even replaced my toilet seat. Yeah, so I've been a little busy. I also went and bought me a walker. You know, I'm going to move all these mats and stuff so that when I have to move, or when I have to uh, move around, I don't have to, you know, bother, uh, my son or whatever if it's not really necessary which I'm, it's recommended that I I move around so get up and move around so definitely okay then I bought me some more comfy socks some more of those old comfy socks yeah more over here more comfy socks then lipo foam 
I went and bought these. These are um, inserts you can put inside the faja so that they don't um, crease. So I went and bought that. Then these are um, sheet protectors, you know, for when I'm inside my recliner. These are really, really nice. When I tell you these are really amazing, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Because I have one. I have one actually sitting in the recliner. My entire set in this house is they're all recliner. So this is what it looks like. It's really really nice. See it has the this on it so nothing don't even soak through. Even though I'm, it's I have drainless tubes. You know I'm doing drainless so here go you got the nice cotton sides. But you know when you sit on the recliner the leather you know it's like it starts to kind of sweat and all that kind of stuff so you have to prevent all that and just kind of feel like if you're just kind of laying in your bed or something like that you know just use that because it's cotton 100% cotton so and that's pretty much my section I'm gonna stay in the living room yeah over there I got all the pillows and stuff over there that little table neck rest and I'm going to set it up over there with my charger and all that good stuff. Yeah, because I want to be in the living room. I don't want to be in my bed. I mean, you know, I have a TV and everything in front here. I got my computer. You know, I want to be out, out here. I want to be um, outside. And plus, uh, Deshaun, he's doing his schoolwork over there in the kitchen so I can see him in the morning times and help him. He can always come inside the bedroom. And then I don't want to make no indentation in my dog on bed. I don't want to do all that, so I'd rather sit in the living room, be comfortable. If anyone coming to see me, I'm right sitting in the living room. I'm gonna have to worry about walking in my bedroom, take shoes off, and just come sit in the chair, sit, talk, whatever the case may be. Which, in I don't have too many people coming, you know, will be coming to my house, you know, just dropping off food and probably must go. But at least I'm right there, they can, you know, peep, wave, whatever the case may be. Um, of course, it's all liquid diet today. I can't eat or drink anything. Period. That's the hardest part. Because change of time of my surgery is I have to be there at 2 p.m. Not bright and early. 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Like you think a surgery will be. 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, and it's an overnight stay. So, um... I'm trying to think, am I forgetting anything? Mm -hmm. If I forget anything, I will uh, let you guys know. But, mm, yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, so I'll see you guys in the next one. It's officially surgery day. My surgery is, no, I don't know, probably 3 o'clock. But I gotta be there at 2 p.m. My daughter's gonna come and get me. Um, I'm not nervous. One thing I am is hungry. Um, I had to stop eating all day yesterday. All was, you know, it's just jello. And let me tell you, I don't think I want to see any goddamn jello anymore. Okay? Oh my god. Um, I was up, you know, just running errands, getting my car washed, things like that. Got my pedicure, got my eyebrows did, got my wax, got my legs waxed. You know, all of, you know, the maintenance stuff that we usually do that I can't do for a while. Yes, got it done. Last night I was up late. I didn't go to bed until about 2 o'clock this morning. You know, get my braid down. You know, I braid my hair down. You know, because, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't wash my hair, yeah, on to maybe for every two months or whatever. But it is officially surgery day. Um, my bag is packed. Got my snacks in there. My meds slippers you know they tell you to you know walk with um loose fitting clothing um you know i was able to have some power aid this morning she told me to drink some power aid but i had to drink it before eight o'clock um but hungry who hungry but i understand i can't even take my blood pressure medicine speaking of which i need to throw it inside the bag i'm forgetting that let me grab that and I was supposed to go to my job and pick up the other one. But I think 
I'm going to, uh, I don't know. I'll probably have to get somebody to pick that one up because right now I don't feel like going nowhere. Um, yeah, I'm about to wash my, my wig that I'm usually in all the time. I'm about to wash that. Huh? Okay, you turn it in. What? We're doing uh, his assignment. Okay, so then break it down, decompose yeah, it. So we're doing homework. Um, you're gonna hear these little sticky socks and whatnot. These little let me show you. bedtime socks. These, yeah, got these. Can you ever see that? Look at my bedtime socks. Yeah, got these from uh, Amazon and yeah. Oh, my socks. Oh. You get these new stuff. They, I don't like this one. They're kind of sticking to the floor. But, yes, I mean, name it, I've done, done it. Clean, wash my blankets, my side is set up, I'm good to go. Walk with my MacBook, um, because I have no TV in my room. Oh, so I need something to keep me company after I'm done with surgery. So, am I ready? Yeah. Am I nervous? Not yet. Not yet, not until I get there. Um, they said it's two and a half hours. Surgery is two and a half hours. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but definitely, um, like I said, bathroom is squared away. I got to take another shower. I've been taking a shower with uh, Dow soap. They told me to take a shower with Dow soap. Um, of course, of course, they're going to scrub me down, of course, again, when I get there, but... You know, I can't put no lotion on, no, nothing like that. So pretty much, yeah. Take off my earrings. Oh, it's pretty chill, you know, today. Took the boys some to get their hair cut. Just basically everything I can think of that I would be doing that I won't be able to do. So I'm ready. I am ready to finally get rid of this pouch. Um, even though I kind of camouflage a little bit, but whenever, um, you know, when I have great mobility and whatnot, I will put some before and after pictures in here. And I'll show you guys, keep, you know, guys up to date on my progress, and, you know, and, and go from there. So hopefully when we get there today, I'll be able to pull you guys up. If not, then I'll see you guys, you know, when I'm all done and up and going so pray for me and thank you hey guys it's me getting ready gotta do this quick just pray for a speedy recovery and i'll see you guys when i'm done i can't really talk too long because i think everything is a rush rush so if you guys can't hear me i'll uh, talk over it but here i go I'm about to get this done and i'll catch you guys on the next one Give your family the security they yeah. need at a price you can afford. Text SELECT 66 to 32233. Hey guys. Welcome back. It is the next day after surgery. Yes, I couldn't do anything. I can barely keep my eyes open. I can barely keep my eyes open now. <laughs> You know, but yeah, surgery day was. We were talking in a regular chair, and um, my anesthesiologist came in, asked a few questions, and um, you know, they were kept coming back and forth. That's how I was sitting in a regular corner like this. I don't even know when I went out when if they lift me to a bed or what but i was gone throughout the night first of all when i woke up it was done i feel the pressure 
and everything. My throat is sore. Okay, had to intubate me. I asked that lady and she said, they gotta intubate me, they gotta put a tube down my throat. I said, with me awake? She said, no, I said, okay, cause I ain't got a, my gag reflex ain't that good. <laughs> so, that's all I remember. I'm just waking up throughout the night. But today is Friday. Five, what time? What time is it? 5.30. 30 so I know too long I got home about two yeah. minutes ago yeah it's definitely a pain I don't know Faha or bondage whatever you want to call it oh I'm tired I'm gonna come back to you guys um maybe later on this afternoon to give an update but yes, guys, it is over. That was just a recovery phase. But stay tuned for more. And your girl is out. My arm is so... I don't know what. But I'm out.